collaborated with Lincoln from the YouTube channel Flaming Rays to trail ride 30 miles into the Rocky Mountains on our basically untested minibikes. I was on my heavily modified 212cc Baja Doodlebug, and Lincoln was on his 212cc swapped dirt bike. Lincoln was almost an hour late, so as soon as he arrived, we just went straight to riding. We forgot to tighten Lincoln's chain before we left, so less than 500 feet into the ride, it fell off. What happened? Can you just tighten it now? Is it that big of a deal? Oh dear. We got it tightened up in just a few minutes and we were back on the trail. Evidently we didn't tighten his chain enough because about a mile later it fell off again. We got that fixed up when we were on our way once again. Just a few minutes later, Lincoln's exhaust pipe just randomly fell off. Exhaust is gone! <laughs> no. No. It melted off! <laughs> oh, there it is! Um. Dang! No! <laughs> what the heck? No, it's not gonna fall off. No, it's fine. Freaking melted? What the heck? <laughs> Bruh, you just dropped my bike? Me not wood!
beautiful peak. We have parked our bikes down there and are now hiking up to Bountiful Peak, which is the highest point here. He left me. Look at this view though. Oh boy. Dang, this is steep. I am not in shape at all. So out of shape. People, this is why I build vehicles that power themselves. Well, no one stole them. We continued on a few extra miles to go to Farmington Lake. We hung out at the lake for a little while, I charged my camera, and then we started heading back. About halfway down, my exhaust pipe decided to join Lincoln's in heaven. Lincoln had another breakdown and we thought we'd just have to tighten the chain. Turned out to be a little bit more than that. I don't, I 
Otherwise, no second. Oh, oh, they are. Oh, it, it's broken now. I'm turning my camera off. I'll see y'all later. Oh, gosh, no, it's like moved a ton. That's why I kicked the chain. It, the engine is like turned. So, what do you want to do here? So, his engine has loosened itself and is now wobbly. So, we have taken the chain off and he's going to coast down the mountain. Not much later, something a little interesting happened. I quickly determined that my engine had lost all compression. I removed my chain so I could coast the remaining quarter mile. Bottom line, we both made it back on our own two wheels. <laughs>